We've already experienced four years of Joe Biden, so we would know what to expect from him. But now that Kamala is the official Democratic nominee, it's hard to say what effect she will have on the stock market. In the event Kamala comes out on top, I'm trying to figure out the best place to put my money in 2025. So I read and researched all of her economic policy positions and found three stocks that stand to benefit the most. Let's get into it. Kamala's first major economic policy position is to address the housing shortage in America. Harris is calling for the construction of 3 million new housing units over four years and plans to promote legislation for tax incentives for home builders to construct starter homes for first time home buyers. That first piece of legislation synergizes really well with her $25,000 in potential down payment assistance. She is targeting renters who wanna get into their first time home. So she's got two pieces of legislation that are both meeting at the starter home entry point. So the starter homes are gonna be hot during Kamala's presidency if she wins. And there are two major strategies that I could employ to try to take advantage of this legislation. The first is to diversify. I could buy the whole home building market. That way I benefit from the few winners and I don't get hurt as much by the few losers. There are lots of different choices as far as index funds and ETFs, but the best one that I've been able to find is XHB. That is SPDR S&P Home Builders ETF. It has 36 holdings. This is a very balanced ETF. All of the holdings are relatively the same percentage. The largest holding is DR Horton at 3.8%, and then the 10th holding is at 3.34%. So very balanced fund. You're gonna benefit from any winners in the sector, and you're not gonna be hurt as bad by the losers in the sector. Now, the second way to attack this policy is to invest all in on the one company that I think is gonna benefit the most from Harris's policy position on home builders, and that's actually DR Horton. They are the largest home builder in America, but more importantly, they are focused on affordable housing. 68% of DR Horton's houses are priced under $400,000, which is perfect. Not only are they the biggest home builder in America, they also fill the niche of starter home. They are in a perfect position to take advantage of Kamala Harris's economic policies. For Kamala's second major economic policy position, we're going into the tech sector. During Biden's presidency, both he and Kamala were both strongly supportive of bringing chip manufacturing onshore. This is because currently the US tech giants are highly dependent on the Taiwanese chip manufacturer, TSM. In the age of AI, it is becoming more and more critical to maintain cutting edge chip manufacturing. In August of 2022, the Biden administration passed the Chips and Science Act, which provides $52.7 billion for American semiconductor research, development, and manufacturing. TSM was a large benefactor of this act and received $6.6 .6 billion, which TSM plans to build a third fabrication plant in Arizona. So we have TSM building a presence here in America, but they are also enjoying strong support abroad in Taiwan. This is because Taiwan is dependent on the US for defense from China. If Kamala is elected, we can expect more of the same favorable policies and subsidies for Taiwan and more importantly for TSM. Trump, on the other hand, has been very vocal about his unhappiness with Taiwan. He's quoted as saying, Taiwan did take 100% of this country's chip business and thus should pay for defense. He also said that the U.S. is no different than an insurance company. He has also talked about putting a 10% tariff on all imports in the United States. This would hit TSM in a big way because they are responsible for 92% of U.S. high-end chip imports. This would be a major blow to their profitability, and the stock market does not like uncertainty. The moment Kamala wins the election, the Trump uncertainty around Taiwan should disappear and TSM's stock price will benefit, as well as the companies that buy chips from TSM, like Apple and NVIDIA. With a 10% tariff, it's only gonna cost US companies more to buy the same product. Just like with TSM, there are many stocks that are pushed down because of the risk to the status quo. Biden and Kamala have reaffirmed their commitment to green energy, while Trump has come out against it. He threatens to roll back much of Bidenomics as well as ending subsidies for both green energy and electric vehicles. As of August, the U.S. has doubled its renewable energy subsidies from seven years ago, and solar has gobbled up the majority of those subsidies. 
If the U.S. is on track for more and more green energy, and we're going to double the subsidies towards renewables over the next seven years, then it stands to reason that solar will be in a prime position to get the most benefit. In the lead up to the 2020 presidential election, this solar ETF went up six times from a low of $21 in March of 2020 to a high of $126 in January of 2021. I'm looking at ticker TAN, TAN, very clever. This is the Invesco Solar ETF. TAN has 46 holdings and over the last four years, it has been dropping steadily. And a major contributing factor to this is the uncertainty around government policy. As we near the election, I'm expecting more and more attention to be put on green energy, since that is a major point of contention between Kamala and Trump. If Kamala wins the election and draws more attention to green energy, then I am expecting positive results out of the solar sector. Maybe not 5x or 6x like we saw in the previous election, but I am expecting TAN to outperform the S&P 500 given the big catalysts that are coming up. The biggest catalyst being Kamala winning the presidency, of course. Now, that being said, the outcome is far from decided. If Trump manages to win the election, then his economic policies will affect the stock market in far different ways. Check out this video to see which stocks are best positioned for a Trump victory. Catch you on the flip side.